of course, like all persons of goodwill who feel for democracy, who feel not just for the UDP, but for our country, I greatly regret all the turmoil uh, that we've witnessed in the UDP, the upheavals that's been a recurring theme and that came to a head uh, with the events of the last couple of weeks. I hope, though, that now there will be some kind of cleansing, some kind of catharsis, and that the party can move forward, can conduct the convention for a successor to the now departed leader in as amicable a fashion as possible. Perhaps I ought to refrain that. No, no contested convention will ever be, be amicable, be amiable. But uh, I hope the convention will be as free from rancor and personalism as is possible in this imperfect world and in this imperfect game or enterprise called politics. I, I sincerely wish that. I think that the party needs to heal. I think the country and democracy both need for the UDP to heal. And so I fervently, I sincerely wish that we can get over uh, this convention, choose a new leader with minimum animosity, with minimum name calling and finger pointing, and that at the end of that convention, whoever emerges as leader will be able to unite the party. Whichever of the two candidates loses will be able to say and mean and demonstrate a willingness to support the winner and to come together so that the United Democratic Party can return to its ideals, return to its roots, and move forward in a manner that will convince people that it has gotten its act together, that is, is a worthy opponent to the ruling party, and that indeed it deserves to once again become the government of this country.